Hi, welcome to my very first making episode for Gray Lightning, and I'm going to dedicate this episode to Adobe Illustrator because Illustrator is such an important part of all of the projects I do that use CNC machines or computerized numerical control machines because Illustrator is what gives the instructions to those machines for how to create my designs. One of the first things you do when you start a business or an organization is to create a logo, and I created this simple gray lightning logo and I did it using Adobe Illustrator and as you'll see I don't have just one version of the logo I have a couple different versions based on how I'm going to be using it in my project I use Adobe Illustrator I belong to what's called the Adobe Creative Cloud which is a membership program where for fifty dollars a month I get access to all of the Adobe products and I use not, not only Illustrator I use Photoshop I use Adobe Premiere Pro and Audition to create these videos, and I use Adobe After Effects to do the animated logo that's at the beginning of each of these videos. So for me, the $50 a month is a very good investment. Uh, if you have Corel Draw, you could use that instead of Adobe Illustrator. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking at a very high level about how Illustrator drawings are created and used to create projects at my makerspace tech shop. When I set up a new Illustrator file, there's two important decisions that I make. The first is that I use RGB as my color model instead of CMYK, which is used for print. And when I give dimensions, I do it in inches because my objects are usually, usually physical objects, and that makes more sense than points, which is something that you do for web design. So when in creating a logo, you start out with doing the text, and uh, you set the font if you know what font you want in advance you pick that and you can say the point size but if you find that the point size you've used uh, is too large or too small you can make adjustments at any time to the size of the font but let's say you don't know in advance which font you want you just highlight the text and you do this drop down menu of fonts that are available and page up and down using your up and down arrows and you can see your logo change based on that new font. When you find one you like you just select it from the list and that's the font that you'll be using. Now for the lightning bolt I use Google image search to find many of my images and you can look at the advanced search tools and specify that you want clip art because that will give you the most simple images to work with. So you look through and you find one that's close to the one that you want to create. And you click on it. It opens it up like this and you get more detail. And you click on View Image. And that takes you to the file that's actually on the internet of that image. You right click on it and say Save the Image. And you save it somewhere where you can easily find it later. Now back in your Illustrator file, you say File Place you locate your image and you drop it into the Illustrator drawing that you're working on. You probably have to do some resizing. It might be larger than you expected. It could be smaller than you expected. You use these handles on the corners and on the sides to adjust the image to approximately the size that you want to use. Illustrator creates multi-layer drawings and I have the text on one layer and I'm putting the bolt on a second layer underneath the text. I can turn the visibility of each layer on and off independently. So I've picked the bolt and I've said object image trace make and expand and it actually draws around that to create a drawing. But it's not exactly the bolt I had in mind, so I use tools that I'll be talking about later to adjust the bolt to get it the size and look that I'm looking for. This is kind of close. And I also changed the color. I filled it with red so that now I can see it separate from the black text on top. So now I have two layers. One has my text. One has a solid bolt. And this is useful for my screen printing, where I'm going to print the bolt first and put the text on top. But it's not going to work for transparent material, like my green lightning sign. So the first thing I need to do is change this text into a picture. 
So I pick type and create outlines and it creates a picture or a drawing from the text. Then I select the bolt and the letters in front of it and I say give me a new shape minus the front. This is on the Pathfinder window. And now I've got a new bolt that has the letters carved out of it. And I save that to a third layer and I have all the components I need for any type of logo I might be using in my maker activities.